Hey there, Eden here, and I wanted to show you something very cool I've been working on recently. Now what you see here is a public GitHub repository open source where I show how to implement advanced workflows, advanced reg workflows using LangGraph. Now this GitHub repository implements corrective reg, adaptive reg, and self reg, and is heavily inspired by the LangChain cookbook which Lance Martin from LangChain and Sophia Young from Mistral created. Now, this is a very nice notebook um, and you can see it right over here, which explains very well the concepts of self-rag, corrective rag and adaptive rag. But what I felt was missing in this notebook is how to structure an advanced LangGraph application and the software engineering point of view of how to write really maintainable code and testable code that you can integrate into your application. So what I did, I refactored this uh, notebook that was linked here. By the way, it has an awesome uh, YouTube video. You can check it out as well. I'll link it also. But what I did is actually factor this and to structure it so it is much more easier to maintain from a software engineering uh, perspective. For example, the graph module, here I have here a const file with const to avoid the code duplication. I also uh, split it into sub modules of chains of the chains uh, we're going to run in each node. And I have here also um, tests. Sorry, I have here also tests for those chains. And you can see here we wrote some unit tests. So we always want to write, of course, a test for code. And let's go and see here the nodes. And here we have all the nodes and each file is going to have one implementation of the node. And each node is accepting the state as an argument, which is our graph state. And basically what I did is to organize it so it would be more maintainable. And the graph implementation you can find in the graph py here. Now, the way I've set it up, so it would be much easier to learn is to split it into branches, okay? So you have the one start here, where you basically don't have anything implemented. Then you have the project structure of how I think a LangGraph um, project application should look like, okay? So it basically should have the chains module and the nodes module. You can see here as you progress all the commits and how to implement this advanced uh, RAG workflow. And what is this advanced workflow? So let's have a very quick walkthrough. So once we get a question from the user, then we first need to choose whether we need to retrieve documents which are stored in the vector store or if there aren't any relevant documents that are in the vector store we're going to be using the web search so here we're going to be using the tavily um, search tool search engine so after let's say we took the route that we need to retrieve information so after we retrieve information from the vector store, we start grading the documents we retrieve. So we're starting to say whether those documents are relevant to the user's query. Now, if we find even one document that is not relevant to the user's query, we want to go and we want to execute the web search. Now we have some documents that were relevant to the query and we also have the web search results. So we take all of this information and then we start to generate the answer. And once we generate the answer, we check whether it has hallucinations. That is, the answer is not grounded in the documents that we supplied as the context. And if the answer is grounded in the documents, we then check if the answer answers the original question. And if it does, we simply return it to the users. And if not, we simply initialize another web search and we reiterate re this process again. So this is quite a complex architecture for RAG, but it yields better results. And this implementation is really a combination of three papers on advanced RAG. So corrective RAG, adaptive RAG, and self-RAG. So that's pretty much it. Please let me know what you think about it. And again, a big shout out to Lance and Sophia for making the original video, um, which inspired this. So this is only my opinion is what I think how LangGraph applications uh, should look like uh, when you integrate them into your actual code bases.